Hi everyone and welcome to this session AIM 205. My name is Priyank Goel and I am the principal product manager for Amazon Transcribe. It's a pleasure to have you all here today. Joining me today is Tarun Agrawal from Zillow and Rebecca Owens from Genesis. As you all know, organizations thrive on customer experience. Customer care calls and sales calls are two important touch points with our customers. We are excited to talk about AWS Contact Center Intelligence and how it enables you to extract actionable insights from these customer conversations. Our agenda is like this. We'll start with identifying key challenges that contact centers face. We will then introduce AWS contact center intelligence and go over the use cases that it can solve. We will then have an in-depth look into Zillow case study. We will see how Zillow uses AWS CCI to improve customer experience and help real estate agents. We will then look into integrations that Genesis has built with AWS CCI for voice bots and real-time agent assist. Rebecca will also be showing us demo demos of these use cases. Finally, we'll close with next steps that you can take for adding intelligence to your contact center. So let's dive in. We all intuitively know that providing great customer service is important. But how important it is? A recent survey report from PwC tries to quantify it for us. As per this report, 73% of the respondents said that customer experience is the third most important factor after price and quality. Moreover, you are at the risk of losing close to one third of your customers after just one bad experience. To sum it up, you can even charge up to 16% price premium for good customer service. However, many companies still struggle to optimize the customer experience part of their business. During the COVID-19 pandemic, long hold times, uninformed agents, and unresolved dispute frustrated consumers nationwide. I'm sure many of you have had friends and family say things like, I couldn't get anybody to answer the phone. The recording kept looping back. I called every day for a couple of weeks. In our customer conversations, we have come across three common challenges faced by contact centers. Number one, long hold times. This is typically due to unavailability of enough agents or multiple transfers before a caller is able to talk to a right agent. Challenge number two, long resolution times. Even when the caller is finally connected to an agent, it transpires that the agent is often uninformed and takes long time to resolve an issue. Supervisors are not able to intervene in time for an escalating call. And the last challenge is lack of insights about macro trends like why customers are calling or what additional coaching is needed for agents. The application of artificial intelligence and machine learning can not only solve these challenges but also lower costs to transform a contact center from a cost center into a profit center. Now let us look at each challenge one by one and see how it can be solved. For long hold times, you can create conversational IVRs and chatbots. To solve the issue of long resolution times, you can build an automatic agent assist solution that continuously surfaces next best action on agent's desktop or automatically escalates calls to a supervisor. Finally, with call analytics that mines these customer conversations, you can gain insights on not only the improvement opportunities, but even cross-sell opportunities.
Now I will introduce AWS CCR. AWS CCR is a set of solutions for common context center use cases. We have a variety of partners to work with. We have technology partners who have turnkey solutions for creating self-service virtual agents and context center analytics. If you need a custom solution, we have a set of consulting partners to help you build what you need. You can also work with us directly to integrate these solutions with your contact centers. The AWS CCI solution covers three main use cases. The first one is self-service. Self-service includes chatbots and IVRs and enables user to quickly find answers on their own without the assistance of a live agent. These solutions also offer intelligent routing to human agents. The second use case is real-time analytics and agent assist. With real-time analytics, customer sentiment can be monitored and supervisors can be alerted to jump on as required. With agent assist, agents can get real-time suggestions for answers. And the third use case is post-call analytics. Post-call analytics solutions provide insights into trending issues and agent performance. There are a host of AWS AI services that help you add intelligence to your contact center. Lex and Polly help you build self-service chatbots and voiceboards. Transcribe converts speech to text and performs call analytics. Comprint can be used to detect sentiment, keywords, and classify your calls. Translate can be used to translate call transcriptions into the agent's preferred language. Finally, Kendra provides contextual search for boosting bot and agent assist solutions with best answers from internal knowledge base. Now let us look at sample architecture for self-service bots. You have customer contacts coming in your contact center through chat, SMS and IVRs. You can use LAX for building chatbots and voicebots. It can convert speech to text and use natural language understanding to find intents in the dialogue. For IVRs, you can utilize the text to speech capabilities of Polly to relay the responses back in the voice of your choice. To help fulfill self service requests, you can integrate LAX with your own data sources or with Kendra to search for the most accurate answers from internal knowledge base. You also see a number of CCI partners listed here who can help you integrate this solution with your contact center. Moving on, let us dive into the implementation of Agent Assist solution. And later when Rebecca will talk about audio hook protocol, you will see a demo as well. So you see a caller calling in and an agent is fielding that call. You simultaneously stream call audio to transcribe. How do you stream audio to transcribe? We will cover that in a moment. For now, you are able to transcribe your calls and you can find out keywords in the transcription results using Comprehend. And then use Kendra for contextual search or your own content management system to search for the knowledge base articles to assist the agent in answering customer questions. Again, you see a number of CCI partners listed here who can help you integrate this solution with your contact center. Now let us look into the pending question. How do I stream call audio to transcribe? You can choose one from multiple options. The first option is Chime Voice Connector. You can use it to mirror audio right from your Session Border Controller or PBX. Chime Voice Connector uses industry standard SIPREC protocol, which is supported by most SPCs and PBXs. If you are using Genesis Cloud Contact Center, you can use Audio Hook protocol to stream audio to transcribe. Rebecca from Genesis will be covering it in more detail. Vonage Voice API allows you 
to stream audio from a SIP or WebRTC client and it can stream that audio to transcribe. So now let's get into the last use case that is post call analytics. The architecture for post call analytics is quite simple. Most context set center platforms allow you to download your historical call recordings. You can then upload these recordings to Amazon S3. Amazon Transcribe natively integrates with S3. It will pick your call recordings from S3 and transcribe them and finally upload the text transcripts back to S3. These transcripts can then be analyzed through dashboard interfaces like Amazon, QuickSight, Tableau and others. Now I would like to invite my friend Tarun who is Principal Applied Scientist at Zillow to showcase how Zillow uses AWS CCI to improve customer experience. Thanks Priyank. My name is Tarun Agarwal and I am Principal Applied Scientist in the Core NLP and Conversational AI group at Zillow. Zillow is the number one online real estate company in the United States by the size of online traffic we get on our website. We provide an on-demand real estate experience and operate under several brands which cater to different consumer needs. For example, Zillow.com provides for sale and rental listings for buyers and renters. Zillow Home Loans provides our customers with an easy option to get pre-approved and secure financing for their next home purchase. Zillow Closing Services provides smooth and reliable closing services for home buyers. Customers can turn to Zillow's businesses to find and get into their next home with speed, certainty, and ease. So it is not a surprise that millions of home buyers visit Zillow Group sites every month to start their home search. A real estate agent in the United States can help home buyers find and tour homes, put offers on them, and close the purchase. So for the home buyers to find their dream home, an important step is to find an experienced agent who can help them through the entire process. To this end, our premier agent service connects thousands of home buyers and real estate agents every day. When we connect a home buyer with an agent, the first interaction is through a phone call. The agents expertly answer the questions from the home buyers on the call. They provide answers to questions such as those about listings, about neighborhoods, and information on how to get financing. The agents also elicits the home buyers' motivation and needs and helps them tour the right set of homes from the ones on sale on the market. One of the key business metrics for us from these calls is to know whether the agents are able to set up showing appointments for our customers. These appointments give agents an opportunity to meet the customer in person and the customers the opportunity to see an actual house and communicate their needs to the agent. They are a key indicator of conversion success. More generally, we would like to have a variety of insights from these calls. We need insights that would help us understand how our agents are doing. Which of the calls need manual lessons? What coaching do they need? And how is the customer experience on these calls? So how did things look before we implemented our solution with AWS Transcribe? We sent satisfaction service to home buyers to learn about their experience and aggregated that. We also tried to understand our calls through manual listening and scored them on various dimensions. As you can see, this is all very manual and it is not possible to scale this to many calls or be comprehensive about what insights we can get, it, get out of them. Our team that works on the intersection of natural language based machine learning and real estate started looking at options on how we can extract these insights more deeply and at scale from all our phone calls. As we have home buyers and agents talking to each other, all calls are recorded for quality. We have the audio files so we can transcribe them to convert that audio into text. With the text in place, 
we can apply the state of the art na natural language models to perform supervised or unsupervised natural language processing, which can help us recognize references to entities, automatically detect sentiment, and categorize topics of interest and issues. So what would applying this kind of automation to our calls enable for us? Traditionally, humans would listen to these calls and manually score them for quality. We could build models that automate these scores for us. Call listening can be supported with reading of transcriptions. Once we have metrics for the topics that occur during the calls and conversation milestones being hit, we can identify the reps who need coaching suggestions. And for the folks who choose not to take the survey, we could get an estimate of their satisfaction scores from these calls. The foundation of our system is a good transcription engine. This is very important as we have some key challenges in our domain. Customers can call us from the comfort of their home or a coffee shop or while they are on the go. This introduces a lot of background noise. And this means we need to have a good accuracy for these noisy environments. We also experience high call volumes during peak periods. So we needed an engine that can support hundreds of transcription jobs simultaneously. As our different lines of businesses support different telephony systems, we also needed a service that supports mono and dual channel recordings. And last but not the least, data privacy is critical. People can discuss their names, emails, phone numbers, and certain locations on these calls. So we wanted something that can redact the calls at the source of transcriptions. And AWS Transcribe solves these requirements beautifully. Another valuable feature is to have sentiment analysis applied to our calls. This enables us to detect varying customer sentiment as the call progresses. Another key aspect is scalability. As we have multiple call types from multiple lines of business, we would like to maintain separated call queues so that we can process them independently. Also, each of these calls have different models associated with them, and these models can vary in sizes, so we would like to use different GPU sizes easily. Finally, our traffic varies throughout the day, so it is important to have auto scaling, which helps us avoid wasted computational resources. So here is the final architecture in its details. At the end of each call, our recording service produces an MP3 file. This is routed to AWS Transcribe for batch processing. Once the transcription is completed, we receive a notification, at which point we can pick the call from an S3 location and put it on a fire hose. Processing multiple transcriptions is more efficient than processing them one at a time. So we use the fire hose to batch these calls together. And in this example, we set it to one per minute. We create a job and put it on a task queue, and we have that one per call type. We containerize our inference tasks, and AWS Batch manages the scheduling of these jobs over ECS, EC2-based compute environments. With EC2, we can maintain different GPUs as per our needs. It also enables us to spin down our EC2 clusters down to zero when we get no traffic at night. The ECS tasks take the transcription as input, process them, and produce NLP inferences, and these predictions are outputted through two different channels. First is an S3 bucket, which enables our batch downstream use cases. For example, all predictions can be processed for nightly metrics. For the other channel, we put the predictions on a fire hose that enables our near real-time real use cases. As you can see in this example, the fire hose enables indexing of the predictions and transcriptions onto the Elasticsearch cluster. We also run sentiment analysis for our transcriptions using AWS Comprehend, and that gets indexed as well. This indexed information is then ready to be served 
for a variety of use cases. We enabled visualization using Kibana, which is inbuilt into Elasticsearch and enables near real-time dashboards for us. And also through Tableau, as some of our teams use that. We also have an in-house web app built over React that lets us search over the data and enables our manual lessons for quality. PyTorch is our choice for a deep learning framework. So we also use TorchServe to serve our deep learning models. We containerize the models and version the containers through ECR. This enables us to have a good applied science developer experience. We want our scientists to focus on improving their models. And once a model is ready for production, they can store the model weights on S3 and commit the inference code to Git. This information is encoded into a configuration file, which when committed triggers a GitLab pipeline. The GitLab pipeline takes over at this point and there's no more manual intervention needed or allowed. The model weights are copied to a version S3 bucket and the inference code is packaged in a Python package. These together are containerized into a Docker image and vended through ECR. So overall, this ensures that our scientists can focus on building models and not spend tons of time deploying models in production. So this is another schematic that provides an overview of how our models work. We use state-of-the-art natural language processing models. These are pre-trained language models. In this example, you see a snippet of phone conversation where an appointment is made between the agent and a home buyer. The model's job is to convert long text into tokens and you, using deep learning, encode the information in these tokens, sentences and paragraphs into numerical representations. We can then apply a feedforward network on top of the embeddings to produce binary classification. These numerical representations make it possible to train text classification models that can help us predict binary signals, such as the one in this particular case, that is whether the appointment was successfully set or not. Dashboards like the one on the right are built around our aggregate metrics and they enable our reps to make suggestions and coach individuals with respect to what changes in behavior that can improve their call quality. We can then see how these metrics change over time and positively impact customers. To give an overview of our web app that powers our manual lessons, here is the screenshot of our search results page. Using this, we are able to search for content by manual keywords, time slices, different geographies, people and teams, and topics and sentiments. Diving into an individual call, the managers can listen to a call, but at the same time, quickly read the transcripts and also see a graph of cumulative sentiment and how it changes over time during the call. For example, over here, this curve suggests that while the first half of the call, customer sentiment was mostly flat, during the second half of the call, they expressed a lot of positive sentiment words. So the manager in this case may wish to skip, skip to read the midpoint of the call to see what topics are discussed. I'll summarize our wins from our adoption of AWS Transcribe and NLP modeling. In order to get the insights into what is going on in our phone calls, we have been able to extract a variety of metrics from them. And we currently have more than 10 of these models and running in production. By doing that, we have identified which of the calls are worth listening to as compared to random samples in the past. And that has led to a 15 to 20 X higher rate at which we can identify folks who need guidance and coaching to improve their call quality. And we now have model customer satisfaction predictions, which help us identify any issues at a 10 times higher rate than what we would have been able to achieve 
through manual CSAT surveys. So what lies ahead for us in the space of adding contact center intelligence for our systems? Transcription accuracy continues to be important and we are looking at adopting custom language models to improve our text output. There can be other languages on the phone call at times and that is another way to expand our coverage on these insights. And we would like to invest in driving feedback loop to make our predictions better on the existing models that we have built. Beyond contact center intelligence, our team Core NLP and Conversational AI at Zillow has delivered more applications for real estate built on top of several AWS services. And these are available online for folks to learn about. Thanks so much for your time. And I would turn it back to you, Priyank. Thank you, Tarun, for taking us through the insights you were able to extract using AWS CCR. It is always heartening to see customers like Zillow demonstrate how AWS CCI helped them improve customer experience and the impact it has made to their business. I will now invite Rebecca, who is Senior Product Manager at Genesis. Genesis is AWS CCI partner and she will take us through integrations that they have built with AWS CCI for voice boards and agent assist. Thank you, Priyank. Hi, my name is Rebecca Owens. I'm a product manager at Genesis, and today I'm going to be talking to you about delivering smarter customer experiences. Today I will cover the evolution of the Genesis Cloud and AWS partnership, and how we implemented Genesis Blended AI, integrating AWS CCI solutions to provide self-service automation. Where we're going in the future, I'm going to show you how Amazon Transcribe implements Genesis Audio Hook, enabling real-time use cases that support the agent. Genesis is the leading contact center software company. We, pour, we power 70 billion customer experiences per year for our 11,000 customers worldwide. In the 2020 Gartner Magic Quadrant for contact centers as a service, Genesis was named a leader based upon our vision score. In the 2021 Magic Quadrant, we're being recognized for bringing that vision to life, achieving the highest score for our ability to execute. Genesis and AWS have been working together jointly innovating over the years as leaders obsessed of customer first philosophy. Genesis Cloud is our all-in-one microservices SaaS platform built on AWS. We started building Genesis Cloud back in 2013, releasing our first GA in 2015. Since then, we've delivered many exciting integrations. On the self-service and automation side alone that we've released Amazon Lex Voice Boss in 2018, Amazon Poly Text to Speech and Lex Chat in 2019, and Amazon Lex V2 voice bots and quick replies for chatbots in 2021. Now I want to take you a deeper dive into Genesis Blended AI powered by AWS. First, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how customers can use self-service when contacting organizations by phone, web, SMS, or social messaging. Genesis Cloud Architect is used to create flows that steer interactions to menus, bots, self-service fulfillment, or agents. The media services use the flow definitions to determine the runtime behavior for the interaction. We can configure the flow to call onto the customer's AWS account to use Amazon Polly to handle the text-to-speech response from the IVR or bot, and Amazon Lex to manage natural language bot interactions. The Lex robot was going to return the resulting intents and slots to Genesis Cloud for further processing. The flow will determine what to do next based on the intent. This could be a planned escalation when the automation has finished the routine tasks, or a graceful escalation to an agent when the automation isn't working so well. For example, use the bot to identify the customer intent to take out car insurance, then do some routing data collection before passing to an agent to complete out the rest of the paperwork. Here we show the architecture of Genesis Cloud and Amazon Lex chatbots. Customer interactions come into Genesis Cloud via a chat widget on the website or SMS or social messaging. The flow then handles the interaction. If a call Lexbot action is executed, the Genesis Cloud chatbot service starts streaming uh, JSON messages to the Amazon Lexbot. The architect flow will wait until the bot conversation is complete. 
Once the intents and slots have been determined, they're returned to Genesis Cloud and used to steer the interaction to the next step in the flow. If the customer needs to be escalated to an agent, then that agent will see the full conversation of the bot displayed in the conversation history. And then they can jump right into assisting the customer. You can enhance the basic chatbot functionality using Amazon Kendra. When a, a customer asks a triggering question, Lex is going to use a Lambda function to call Amazon Kendra, and Amazon Kendra then uses machine learning capabilities to process that customer's question. The answer is found by searching an informational database in CES3 and routed back to Amazon Lex and Genesis Cloud displays it to the customer. You can find that blueprint in the resources for this presentation. We released the Genesis Cloud Lex V2 integration earlier this year. It provides our customers with three major improvements over the Lex V1 integration. The V2 API provides improved voice functionality such as barge-in and no speech timeout. Barge-in enables the caller to interrupt the Lex bot. This helps if they've already been through the IVR before and know the prompts and want to speed through them. No speech timeout detects when the caller is silent so they can get the assistance at the right time. The updated streaming architecture means we no longer need to endpoint the audio before sending to Lex. This is going to improve the recognition accuracy. And thirdly, DTMF support is where the caller can use their keypad to provide input rather than speaking. DTMF is a critical requirement for voice cell service, providing callers with their choice of input when entering customer numbers. For example, many callers prefer to enter long customer numbers or payment details. So here we're going to show the architecture of Genesis Cloud and Amazon Lex voice bots. The integration uses the Lex V2 API and streaming audio. Customer calls come into Genesis Cloud and are handled by the RVR. If a call Lex bots hit during IVR execution, then the, Amazon, then the Genesis Cloud voice bot service starts streaming over HTTP to Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex processes the customer audio and Amazon Polly sends text-to-speech text responses streaming back to Genesis Cloud and relates to the caller. Once the intents and slots have been determined, then they're returned to Genesis Cloud. These are then used by the IVR to steer the interaction to the next step in the, defined in the flow. You can also integrate AWS Q&A bots, so your customers can query Lex and get the right answer to their question. These have been packaged as a CloudFormation deployment. You can simply install the CloudFormation and then uh, use the included architect flow to quickly get up and running. You can find a link to this in the resources for this presentation. Now I'm going to show you a demo of our recently released Lex V2 VoiceBot integration. I'll show you a simple flow for a retail business. It enables customers to indicate their reason for calling, such as cancelling their membership. The flow is configured to call on to a Lex V2 bot to collect intents and any associated slots. It then returns to Genesis Cloud Architect for fulfillment or graceful escalation to an agent. I'm going to call into the bot before jumping into the configuration. You're going to hear me ask the Lex bot to cancel my membership. The Lex then asks me for my membership numbers. I could say these or enter the number. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate using the ETMF. Genesis Cloud is then going to play that number back using Polly. I'll then transfer to, be transferred to the membership queue to get assistance from the right agent. Welcome to Genesis. How can I help you? I want to cancel my membership. Please say or enter your membership number. Thanks. Your membership number is 12345. Six, nine, eight. I will now transfer you to an agent. This is the Genesis Cloud integrations area. You can add a new integration to Amazon Lex or Polly after installing it from the Genesis Cloud App Foundry. To link the int integration to your AWS account, simply configure the Amazon resource number for your account and save. Once configured, your Lex bots will be available in the Genesis Cloud Architect flow. This is where you can select the poly text-to-speech voices to be used in your flow. We support the full range of standard and neural poly voices and languages. This is, where you can this is where you can configure an architect flow. To configure where Lex is called, simply drag a bot onto, call bot action onto the flow. You can select any bot and alias configured in your AWS account. 
The UI is now populated with the intents returned from the Lexbot. You can also select an initial intent name. You can optionally configure input and output session variables to pass to and from the Lexbot. The intents returned from Lex are listed along with any associated slots. If we move to the Amazon Lex console, you can see the, the bot's intents are listed in the bot, match was displayed in Architect. If you look at the council membership intent, you can see that there's a configured membership number slot. If I switch back to the Architect console, I can assign the slot to a variable. This can be used later in the Architect flow for self-service fulfillment, or passed to an agent so they can jump right into assisting the customer. I can drag a play audio action to the flow. A text-to-speech sequence can be configured to be played by Amazon Polly by typing in text-to-speech or selecting a variable like the one that we assign the membership number to. I can then drag the transfer to ACD action onto the flow. Configure the membership queue and then add some TTS to be played by Polly before transferring the call. Now I just need to publish the flow and I'm able to call in and test it. Now I want to briefly tell you about one of our joint customers. Textile is a global fashion retailer known for its membership-based digital brands, including Fabletics. The prior solution was not meeting all of Textile's current and future technology and business needs. For example, there was a lack of integration to channels and other platforms. Textile implemented a Genesis Cloud solution with Amazon Lexbots for their expansion into digital channels, completing the full global rollout in 90 days. They were impressed of how quick and easy it was to set up the Amazon Cloud Lex integration, and Artie Kosobin was actually able to set up his Lexbot in two days. He automated routine tasks like billing inquiries and order checks. And they now handle more than 10 million interactions across voice and digital channels per year, easily scaling when retail peaks occur. Now I want to introduce you to our upcoming AudioHook protocol. This enables Genesis customers to use AWS Transcribe for real-time call analytics and agent assist. Being able to enable real-time use cases that support the agent is an important feature that a lot of our customers are looking for. Agents can struggle to remember or even search through the large amounts of complex domain information that they deal with, while also talking to and engaging a customer. Today, it's possible to transcribe a call and do post-call analytics to find out what went wrong. However, there's no way to get agents the support and help they need when they need it the most during the live call with the customer. Our solution is Genesis AudioHook, a new open protocol to provide a real-time voice stream from the Genesis Cloud platform over WebSocket to any third-party service endpoint. Partners and customers can extend the Genesis Cloud platform to monitor voice interactions in real time. Use cases include passive biometrics and transcription and agent coaching. The AudioHook protocol uses WebSockets over TLS as the transport. It's designed to be, make it easy to implement servers that accept it. AWS implements AudioHook so Amazon Transcribe can leverage the audio stream. This enables the real-time use cases that support the agent. We can equip them with the knowledge that they need to provide customers with effective answers to their questions. We can implement a number of use cases via AWS Transcribe, the most basic being to return the transcription to the agent's desktop. We can also make use of Transcribe to real-time call analytics to surface sentiment in real time and create real-time supervisor alerts. We can do this by surfacing key issues our customers want to see. For example, speak to manager or cancel account. The architecture shown here implements real-time agent assist using Kendra and Amazon Transcribe. Amazon Kendra uses machine learning capabilities to process call transcriptions, searching for answers in an informational database stored in S3. Relevant articles are then returned to Genesis Cloud Agent Desktop, and these are used to, to, to help the agent in assisting the customer. AudioHook is currently in private beta. We're working to make this reference architecture available for easy deployment, and that will be in the form of a blueprint. A blueprint. I'm now going to show you a demo of real-time agent coaching. I'm going to pick up the call as an agent, I'll then support a customer who has a question about their insurance payment. 
and the answer is going to surface automatically in my agent desktop with a link to the documentation that I can share with my customer. Hi, this is Rebecca from Umbrella Insurance. Oh, hi, Rebecca. This is Felix. Hi, Felix. How can I help you? Yes, uh, I have a question. How can I pay my bill? We support a variety of payment methods. You can pay by check or use a debit or credit card. AutoPay is also an option. Oh, uh, I'm forgetful. Um, AutoPay would be perfect. How can I set that up? You can enroll in automatic payment either through the website or app. I can send the instructions over an email. Well, great. That was easy. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Finally, you can use the resources listed here to find out more about how to implement what I showed you today. There are links here for Genesis Audio Hook, plus all the Genesis App Foundry integrations to AWS, CCI, and Blueprints that we discussed today. Thank you, Rebecca, for the wonderful demonstrations of Genesis integrations with Lex and Transcribe. It is a real treat to see voice bots and agent assist in action. Now let us discuss next steps that you can take after this session. As the next step, we recommend that you go to the AWS CCI URL shown here and browse through solutions offered by our partner. Choose a partner who meets your needs to help you build a quick POC and even a production level integration with your contact center platform. You can also choose to work with AWS Professional Services to help you build integrations with AWS CCI. We also have a bunch of resources available to you. We have a dedicated website for AWS CCI, including links to partner solutions, websites, and webinars. For each of the use cases that we covered today, you have demos and quick starts available on GitHub and AWS website. Thank you for your time, and we're excited to hear about context center experiences that you create using AWS CCI.